Have you ever noticed when you've finished a drawing of a face and you come to paint it, there's never quite the right skin tone in your paint box? Well, I suppose you could always leave your drawing white. Let's try that. White? Nah, white isn't quite right. OK, well, I suppose the next best thing is pink. So that's a little bit of red mixed in with the white. So there's some red in there. Try that. Mix it in, get a nice pinky colour there. Try it on the drawing. Alright, there we go. Red and white, pink. Oh no, this isn't going to be right, is it? Oh no, I'm not even going to bother with that. It looks like he's got a bad suntan. Let me just test it out here. No, red and white isn't quite right. There's one colour still missing yellow. Try it yourself. Mix it yourself. Next time you want to do some skin, red, yellow and white. Just get himself a bit of yellow there. Put that down there. Mix it all together. This is the bit I like doing. Just slopping all the colours in. Blending them in the middle like that. And you can see it just forming there. Right, let's try this. Ah, now then. That looks a bit better to me. Just paint it around the corner there. This fella's looking a lot happier, if you ask me. Of course, if you want to get it darker, you just add a bit of black. If you want to get it lighter, just add a bit more white, just around the corner there, so you can see the effect. There it is. I think he's looking a lot happier there. Just spilled a bit on the bottom, not to worry. Just try it on myself. There it is. Next time you want to do some skin, try mixing it yourself. A little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of white. And just remember, red, yellow and white is right. It's the end again. So there you go then. That's how you make a decent flesh colour. Bit of red, bit of white, bit of yellow on your brush. Yeah, Fred, you look a bit peaky. Fancy a bit of colour on your cheeks? Listen, mate, I'll paint you. Well, help me out a bit. Move over.